Imagine cruising down the road when suddenly, bam, your engine light flips on, and your engine starts acting up. Could it be a misfire? Maybe. But there's another little-known culprit that could be to blame, your knock sensor. Tiny, often ignored, but when it's on the fritz, the knock sensor can turn a smooth drive into a rough, jerky experience. Let's get right to it. What exactly does a knock sensor do? Think of it as your engine security detail, always on alert. It listens for any knocking or pinging sounds in your engine, which can happen if fuel burns unevenly. When the knock sensor detects this, it signals your car's computer to adjust the engine timing, keeping everything running smooth. Without it, your engine's left unguarded, which can lead to serious damage over time. So, how does it work? It's pretty clever, actually. Inside your engine, the sensor monitors for those telltale knocks. It detects vibrations from irregular combustion and translates them into electrical signals. These signals then go to the ECU, your car's brain, telling it to tweak the fuel air mix or timing. Think of it as your car's personal translator, making sure the engine's language stays smooth and trouble-free. Now, you might wonder, what are the signs of a bad knock sensor? The symptoms aren't always obvious at first, but over time, you'll notice poor acceleration, lower fuel efficiency, and maybe even that dreaded check engine light. And if you ignore it, your engine could suffer damage from all the unregulated knocking, turning a small problem into a costly repair. So, where does this unsung hero of the engine reside? Usually, you'll find it bolted to the engine block or intake manifold, where it can best pick up on vibrations. It's discreet but critical, working behind the scenes to keep your engine happy. But what happens if this sensor bites the dust? Get ready for rough idling, slower acceleration, and maybe even misfires. Your car's performance might feel off, almost like it's stumbling at times. And if things get really bad, your vehicle might enter limp mode, a self-preservation setting that limits performance until the issue is fixed. Can you drive with a bad knock sensor? Technically, yes, but it's like ignoring a toothache, possible but risky. The longer you go, the more you risk engine damage and costly repairs. And really, who wants that? So, to sum it up, the knock sensor may be small, but it's a big player in keeping your engine running smoothly. It's the undercover agent, the peacekeeper, and the performance protector of your engine.